It's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the retro glitch effect in After Effects. I hope you guys liked the preview, let's start the tutorial here and we're going to start off by opening up After Effects and we're going to be adding some footage we're going to be using for this effect here. If you're already in a project, you already have footage, that's perfect, but just have some sort of footage you can use so you can see how the effect looks. And when you have that you're going to be making a adjustment layer, so the shortcut for making a adjustment layer is going to be Control alt y Now it's going to look something like this, you have a adjustment layer here, and I'm going to be using the Sapphire plugin for this effect here, and I'm going to be adding the JPEG damage effect. And it's going to look something like this. This effect here basically makes the quality worse. And uh, you can drag down the quality even more. I'm going to set the quality to 0 0.03. And when I do that, I will get this kind of effect here. I think it looks really, really cool. And after that, to make this retro glitch effect a very unique look in my opinion, by the way, we're going to be adding a radial blur. Here, set the amount to 15. Then I'm going to change the type from spin to zoom instead. And it's going to look something like this. So this is the difference here. And if you guys like the glitch style effect here, we have a TV glitch pack V3. And I'm going to be adding one of the effects from that pack. And this is how the 14th effect is going to look from that pack. Really, really cool effect if you guys are interested and like this kind of style here. And I actually have a discount code for you guys. It's going to be Pelle. If you use that code, you will save $5 of this pack. Now back to the retro glitch effect here. After the radial blur you're going to be adding monochrome. And here you can basically play around a lot with how the black and white look is going to look basically. <laughs> so uh, you can you know drag up the weight of the red here down however you guys want. I'm going to set it to around one here. For the green I'm going to increase that one two to one blue to one as well and then brightness drag it up three here something like that this is the look you have now pretty good and the next effect i'm going to be adding is called deep glow set the radius to 500 and then the exposure to 0.75 and you will get this look here after that i'm going to be adding noise to get this kind of grungy look to this uh, glitch effect set the amount to 50 uh, percent this is how the final look is going to be. I think it looks really, really cool and it's a really unique looking uh, glitch effect that you can use for your music videos. And if you guys also think so, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial. And don't forget to check out our website, editingvisuals.com, where you can get the editing packs I showed you guys before. Really, really good quality if you guys want to elevate your editing. And also don't forget to check out our Instagram, our socials, and join our Discord server. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.